The 15th at Mirfield Village, is, I think, is a great hole, and I think it's a great risk-reward hole. It has some character, has some shape to it. The hole moves left to right, but the tee shot, the fairway moves right to left. So it's just a huge emphasis on hitting the tee ball in the fairway. If you miss the fairway, it's, uh, it's pretty penal to lay up. You know, it's a tough layup area now, and the green is slightly elevated, so that third shot isn't as easy. Since the redesign playing slightly different, uh, they flattened out the massive hill in the middle of the fairway and sort of extended the hazard line around that front right bunker where it used to be a little more forgiving. You know, there was more rough and if you kind of flared a shot out to the right, you, you'd be in the rough kind of chipping up to the green. When I'm analyzing that hole, my caddy comes into play a lot, um, giving me information, giving me the stats on guys that are either laying up on this specific hole, are they scoring? Um, are the guys that go for the green, are they scoring better? That type of data is very useful. There's so much risk laying around the green. Missing it left is not an option. Missing it too far right is not an option. Hitting the green, since it's so sort of small, um, hitting a really good shot, your, your, your reward is massive because you know putting on the surface isn't too difficult, but hitting the surface is very difficult. So that's what makes it such a great risk reward hole. I think the changes were great and I enjoy the, the risk reward that, that that hole brings.